Hey, if you clicked on this page right now, it's because you're wanting to be a more powerful leader in your life. Because you understand this principle. The things you want in life, okay, health, wealth, connections, whatever else it is, requires you to be a better leader. Why do you think people are here? Because they want change. I mean, if you didn't want change, why would you even be here? Why would you click the link? Of course you want change. Of course your soul is eager and desiring change because the reality is whether you believe you're changing or not, you're changing. And you want to be in control of that change. That's why you're here so that you can direct the change that's happening in your life rather than having change happen to you. It's time to take control and you know that you're ready to step up and take action on your future. Yeah, and there's three really important principles that you have to understand in order to get that change and be a better leader. The first one is understanding, okay, it's not just about mindset. And in fact, I use the word mind, but it's really, it's so much deeper than that. I hate when people use mindset, wouldn't you agree? Absolutely. Right, yeah. it's, but for the sake of our conversation, we're gonna use that. What goes through your head as far as thoughts and stories is something that we have to understand at a deeper level. Okay, your body, your emotions, right? The brain is the flower. The body is the roots, okay? We look at a flower and we go, oh my gosh, that's a beautiful flower, but what grew that flower, okay? It was the root system. Your body is the root system to your mind, okay? The body impacts the mind more than the mind impacts the mind. And that's not me saying this, guys. That comes from the goat, Tony Robbins, okay? Then we got your spirit, okay? If I give you a new thought inside your head, do you weigh more? If you forget something, do you weigh less? Albert Einstein said this, energy cannot be created or destroyed, it can only be transferred. Whether you're religious or not, everyone has a spirit about ourselves, okay? So when we align our mind, body, and spirit, it creates this triangle, it's the strongest shape in the world. So we want all these aspects to grow, okay? And the formula we gotta use for growing these aspects is something that's a universal concept, okay? Frequency, intensity, and volume. Frequency, how much are you actually doing it? How much time and how many times are you actually working on improving your mindset, your spirit, your body, your emotions, okay? How intense is it actually? Is it just scrolling through Instagram or is it just throwing through Facebook and hoping to catch a few good things? Like what's the actual intensity, okay? And then the next one, which is the volume, which is reps times sets. Okay, and this applies in all aspects of life. So if we're really wanting to get to the level that honestly you know you can achieve, okay, because you visualize this person, we gotta have more frequency, we gotta have more intensity, okay, and we have to have more volume in all aspects of these areas. Okay, because the goal is to grow. People who are growing are happy. People who are not growing are not happy. And sometimes when we don't grow is because we're not aligned. Okay? We don't feel in alignment with what we're doing or it's not clear. And if we're not in line, it could be because there's no healing. We haven't healed. And healing isn't the sum like I experienced this incredibly, you know, drama, you know, traumatizing event. That's not what I'm referring to. Healing is essentially making sense of the past. Because the more you make sense of how you've been influenced, okay? you can better understand how you influence currently as a leader. And if we can get conscious in that aspect, okay, we can tap into the next level of our leadership. Okay, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's what's really important about the healing aspect is we're not changing the past. We are redefining the past. And redefining the past, your whole life is based off of the existence you already have. You are who you are because of what you think about. He's, he's talking about mindset, right? The problem is that your mind is set, okay? If you wanna change, you have to have to change where your mind is. And so think of it as a mind frame rather than a mindset. The frame that you're looking through changes. Well, if you believe that your mind can be set, you're probably already set where you're at. But that's the reason you're on the page is because you don't wanna be mindset. You wanna have a mind frame. You wanna change your perspective. And when you change the perspective of your past, it's so much easier to be aligned with who you are. That person, that person inside of you that you know you can be, it's inside of you, I know it. Well, let's get it aligned. And then as you align, you get that growth and that growth is what transforms, not just you as a leader, but other people see that and they want that same transformation themselves. Yeah, so I used to say, hey, you know, go click on the link below if you're interested. 
okay? We don't, we're not doing interested here, okay? Getting to the next level of your business, of your finances, of whatever else it is, okay? It's never about being interested, okay? It's about being committed to doing the work. It's not if you're able, okay? That's what I used to think. Am I actually able? It's not if you're able, it's if you're willing. Okay, click the link below to really learn what this experience can do. Okay, we've been doing this for seven years. Thousands of people have gone through it and experienced incredible transformations in two days. And I know if you're committed to that process and you come in open, you're gonna experience way more than you thought you would. Okay, click the link below and I'll see you on the other side.